hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna start q so before uh, we begin i'm asking you one question what is the condition of underflow and overflow of stack if you know the answer you can mention in the comment box and i'll discuss the answer at the end of the session if you haven't watched my stack video so there is a link in my description box you can refer from there okay so let's begin what is q q is an ordered list of element where insertion and deletion both occur at the different end okay so inserting element from uh, rear end and removing element from front end of the queue unlike stack which work based on the lifo order q work based on the first in first out principle so the element entered first will be deleted like stack it is possible to implement q using list but uh, list does not perform efficiently for some operations because add, add, uh, insertion and deletion at the end is faster than the beginning of the list. So we have some uh, other library function through which we can perform all the operations efficiently. Okay, so we'll discuss this later in detail. Next is uh, applications of Q. So there are so many applications of Q which is used in computer science field but mainly it is used in the operating system and the real time system for handling the interrupts. Okay. There are two main operations of Q which is NQ and DQ. As I have mentioned NQ uh, occur at uh, rear end and DQ is occur at front end means that we are inserting the element from uh, rear end and deleting the element from front end. Okay. So so this is an example of uh, nq and dq so here uh, we have one one in the queue so if i entered two from uh, rear end so the, in the queue we have two and one and one represent the first element right second element is two if i entered third element the third element will be three and so on right so when it comes to uh, deleting the element the first element we will be deleting from which is one right and the second element will be two and so on so you can see the insertion and deletion both are occurring at the different end so insertion end is call it as rear end and deletion end is call it as front end okay now next is the implementation of q by using these three way you can implement the queue because the list does not perform efficiently for some operations so we can use the collection.dq library or q.q library so in my implementation i'll show the uh, implementation of queue using list and using collections.dq okay are the operation that we are going to implement nq using append function and dq using pop function or collection dot dq now here uh, dq represent the different type of queue where insertion and deletion occur at both end okay uh, rear end as well as front end so we can use uh, this dq library to perform the operation of queue right now uh, other operations are traversal searching and sorting these three uh, operation exactly same as the stack right so we'll focus on these two operation only nq and dq insertion and deletion right so first i am implementing using list so insertion and updating one empty queue which is available and taking one uh, element uh, from user which shows the size of the queue then i am executing the for loop of n and inside the uh, for loop i am taking input that i want to append in the queue right so q dot append a and after executing uh, for loop i am printing the queue so if i run this code it is asking the to enter the size of the queue value let's suppose i want to enter four elements right and the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I enter, so it will create the queue uh, which is holding 4 elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, it's deletion operation. Now in deletion operation, we already have one uh, existing queue which is queue which is holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements inside. Okay, now n represent us. Uh, number of element that we want to delete or remove from the queue so by using this for loop uh, i am uh, uh, removing the element by 
using pop function now here uh, I have mentioned zero argument in inside the pop function so this zero argument represent that we want to remove the element from beginning otherwise if I have mentioned only pop so this will remove from the end right so let's suppose we have elements 1 2 3 4 5 okay so if I run this code so using pop pop deletes the uh, element from last so it will delete uh, number of elements we want to delete two so it will delete four and five right so because the implementation of q says the deletion should be occur at the front end so here zero represent the front end so if i run this now two element deleted so now one and two is deleted the problem of using pops uh, zero is it takes more time than pop function right so um, in stack if we are applying pop function it will take order of one time but here pop zero function takes order of n how it works let's suppose uh, pop automatically delete from last right so first we we have to scan the whole list till we reach the first element so after removing the first element then we have to shift the every element in one place left and the reason uh, pop zero function takes some time okay so uh, now uh, we are implementing the queue using collection.dq importing dq from collection library so uh, to create an empty queue i'm using queue is equals to dq function now we are taking input from user which is the size of the dq according to the end we are executing the uh, for loop inside the for loop uh, we are taking the input from user and that input is appended in the queue rest will be same uh, so uh, instead of uh, empty queue uh, square bracket here we are using dq method to create an empty uh, queue right so if i run this code so it is asking for size of the input so let's suppose the uh, size is 3 now I am entering 3 element 1 2 3 so this is the uh, queue which is created now here dq represent the queue is created using dq function okay now in deletion uh, again we are importing dq from collection library uh, and we are creating one uh, queue by using dq function and the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 right and here i am using q dot pop left method two times so these are the method used to remove the element from left hand side right so after executing this uh, code so it will remove two elements in the left most side so one and two will be deleted after executing this code right so dq three four five are left so by this uh, uh, collection library we can uh, remove the disadvantage of pop zero function uh, because it takes order of n time to execute or to remove the element and this pop left function takes zero order of one time which is a constant time to remove the elements so instead of using pop function you can use the collection library uh, by importing dq method come back to the question answer of this question is uh, let's suppose the size of the uh, stack is equal to max and top of the element of stack is equal to n right? so under flow condition will be n is equal to equal to minus 1 means there is no element in the stack and still we are trying to delete the element from stack so this will raise the exception under flow okay now second one is uh, overflow condition so overflow condition will be n is equals to equals to max minus 1 right so if this condition is true means the stack is already full and uh, still we are uh, inserting the element in stack so this will raise the exception overflow right so these are the two conditions of stack so that's all for today's video thank you for watching my video have a good day